So today is uh, working on a THD printer. Um, but uh, the reason why I'm doing this is not because of uh, the There's a particular form that I want to advise so that people will know what is really cost that for. I thought it's a um, loss of power. Most of, it's not only because of the loss of power from this engine, but uh, sometimes, yeah, it will be. But the person, <coughs> the fault you find where you scan, you find it. So, in this case, <coughs> I drove the car and um, there was no power, you know, uh, to go was not working. So, um, when I scanned it, I, I found uh, a fault as suggested uh, that was because of the loss of power, and that is uh, P2263. Uh, P2663. So, um, I know most people might be going through that stuff and they will know the full page or how to solve it. So, I'm going to show you guys now. Uh, so, whatever you, you scan your, when you don't, you have a loss of power in your THP control engine, uh, have the vehicle scan. So I, uh, it will direct you to where to look for uh, things to check. So when I scanned and found the fault of the P226 system, so I decided to to check um, the vacuum line or uh, the breathing uh, line for the electro valve attached under the intake manifold. And um, so let's go under. I hope. Uh, I'll be able to hold that. Let's see. <coughs> uh, so, um, so here is it. Hold on. Oh, kind of tight here. Um, I don't have to, I have to use my phone as a touch light. Yeah, so, um, hold on, okay, uh, I think it's better now. So this is the tubo electro valve that is attached on the manifold. So what happened in this case was, um, uh, this, this is the bleeding line. This, this is where, what allows this uh, electro valve to breathe, uh, so that it can be able to uh, actuate um, or control the turbo wastegate uh, actuator. So, um, remember it has a three uh, pipes on it. Um, so, more like one is inlet, the other two. Uh, uh, one is, uh, is out or in or so. However, the one I'm referring to is this one. Uh, this this black one, the black hose, it usually calls it the black pipe, two more color pipe on top, but the third one below is the one that um, the electrofile goes with, so this one. So whenever you get that P2263, always check um, to know there's a pipe that comes from here uh, up to the behind the engine. So when I checked for it, I didn't see that part. So I knew something was wrong. So we now have to dismantle some of the things that will give us access to this electro valve. I will now find this. Uh, I'm going to show you. I don't think there is space to show you here. So uh, what happened was the pipe, this thing shifted down. The electro valve is supposed to mount some, mount it somewhere. So I don't know what happened. It shifted out of the I was mounted and fell uh, on that hanging like this. Actually, I was surprised it didn't fall out. So, what now happened was this particular pipe that the, the electro valve this we now rested on the exhaust. This exhaust uh, pipe. So, when that happened, we now bumped it. So, um, we bumped it and uh, blocked it completely. So it couldn't breathe anymore. So, um, so in other words, uh, uh, the problem is uh, solved here really because uh, once you find the culprit, uh, which is much easier in this case, 
Uh, you saw the bubble already. So let me, I'm going to come outside. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm cutting the hose, the pipe. And um, so I'm going to connect it so that I position the the breathing, the the outlet where the uh, cork goes into for uh, behind the engine. They will mount this thing back, and uh, this is such a way that it shouldn't drop again. Uh, so let's see. I hope uh, this camera is catching everything because I can't really see uh, see through what I'm doing. Let's see. Okay, so um, <coughs> so this is the, the one that got burnt. As you can see, um, can see this place, you can see it's a uh, smelter. So when you melt it, you now block completely. I didn't mean it didn't melt, I broke. It wouldn't have actually affected it. So the block to so me, it could no longer be. Uh, it couldn't suck. Uh, yeah. okay. So what I did was I went and cut a user. So this is uh, what it should look like. So as you can see, you can see the bottom part, the one that enters the cell like this side. And then uh, you can see the side that is copper. So um, so this the end here is supposed to have um, uh, uh, the foam so that I can be able to filter all that passes through. Um, so, you know, remember, it's actually a vacuum line. Um, this one that like, controls um, this actuator. That little uh, controls this actuator that runs uh, the waste So, now this line usually stays. That plastic, you know, it has, the one that has the foot on top, usually mounted somewhere behind. So, so what we are going to do is, uh, I'm actually put a, uh, you can see the small foot I put inside. Uh, you know, when I cut it, there is no foot on it. Uh, so I don't have to look for another foot on it. But it's still so long. Right? I've, I found like two different filters. One was basically blocked. The one filter was a new filter. No, not filter, foam. So what I had to do was to use another foam. So this one can is actually cross. Uh, I could blow through it. So that um, as air is passing or going out. Um, I, I can't really say for sure if it's for inlet or outlet. But whichever one it is, it, it needs this to be. Uh, True, so that air can pass through and go out. And you do so, this is not a breeze. That's what I'm saying. Here. So, I'm going to mount it uh, this one, and the once we are done, I'll clear the fault and I will expect the, the faults to go away, the power to come back, and the fault, the P2263, uh, never to come back again. So, um, yeah, uh, hold on, let me look up for yeah, I think it's a P2 system. Okay, so, so I know, um, I've always known this part. But this is the first time um, this happened because you got this that bad. Usually, um, I will show you with a little confirm. There are two, two systems here. So, Whenever you start your car and you got uh, the code of P2263, so first thing you need to do is to get access to uh, here, usually mounted here or positioned here. I mean this, something like this. Uh, it should be somewhere like this. Yeah. Um, so you look at it to know if the foam is still there. If this foam is there, you remove the foam, wash it and put it back. Uh, because sometimes when this coat comes up, if the foam is blocked, if the air uh, or something has left this way, I don't want to pass it uh, to very well. Uh, then yeah, it will, it will do the same thing that this one did. Because uh, this one 
was melted and blocked it completely. So it was sad, it was sad the energy the same way. So what you need to do is you remove the foam, uh, wash it. Uh, if it's something you can change, you change it. Put another one. Make sure it's porous enough. When you put it, you blow to it from here. You blow it from here or suck air from here to be sure that the air is passing through. And uh, that's all. So you can put it back. But when you check and you do not see it, it means something similar to what happened on this uh, engine or in this case, maybe it has happened on yours. So you now have to go on that to see if you can locate where it is. Or you might start by removing the air filter box to see if you can uh, find it. If you don't find it here, then you have to go on that. Uh, so, um, I don't think I need to uh, show the update after we mounted everything and clear the fault because uh, I know it's going to, uh, it's not going to come back again. So, and the power is going to be back good. Yeah, so, um, I think uh, that brings it to the end of the video. Until another time.